What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find the length of a missing side of a right triangle. And I'm also going to show you how to express your answer in simplest radical form, right? So here we have our right triangle. Uh, we know the two shorter legs, right? This short leg and this long leg. And we don't know the hypotenuse, which is labeled as x. Okay, so to find the missing side of a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, right? So a and b are the two shorter sides. So in this case, that would be four and six. And c is the length of the hypotenuse, which is just labeled as x. Okay, so let's fill in these three guys for a, b, and c. So again, this is going to be 4 squared plus 6 squared is equal to, and since we don't know it, it's just labeled as x, it's going to be x squared, right? 4 squared is equal to 16, 6 squared is equal to 36, and again, that's equal to x squared. 16 plus 36 is equal to 52, so we get 52 is equal to x squared. Now, to solve for x here and get rid of this exponent, we just need to take the square root of both sides. And so when you do that, the square root or the radical and the squared exponent cancel out. So then we're just going to be left with x is equal to the square root of 52. And that's not a perfect square, but there's different ways we can break it down, right? So 52, we could break that down, right? So 52, that's the same thing we could say as 2 times 26. We could also say 52 is the same thing as 4 times 13. Okay, and there's other ways we could break it down. But in this case, you always want to use a perfect square if possible, because it's going to simplify your math. Okay, so in this case, let's use 4 and 13, because specifically 4 is a perfect square, right? So the square root of 52, we can break that down as the square root of 4 times 13. So now that we broke it up, now we can split our numbers into their own radicals. So we can split this up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 13. And again, that's equal to x. Now, here we have the square root of 4, which is simply equal to 2, right? So then here we get that 2 root 13 is equal to x, right? So then there's the length of x, the hypotenuse. Boom. All right, now this problem is going to be a little bit different because as you can see, this time we know the length of the hypotenuse, but we don't know the length of one of the sides, right? So in any case, we can still solve this using the Pythagorean theorem, okay? So let's just start there. So again, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a and b are the two short sides, right? So 5 and x, and 7 is the hypotenuse, right? So that's going to be c. So let's plug in what we know for a and b. So again, that's 5 and x, right? So here we're going to get 5 squared plus x squared is equal to 7 squared. That's a 2. Let's just assume that's a 2. Okay, now 5 squared, that's equal to 25, plus x squared is equal to 7 squared, which is 49, all right? So to solve for x over here, we can get rid of this 25 boom, like that. So then we get x squared is equal to 24. Okay, so again, to solve for x over here and get rid of the exponent, we can just take the square root of both sides. So then here we get that x is equal to the square root of 24, which again is not a perfect square. And again, there's different ways that we can break this up. But again, you want to use, <laughs> I feel like I'm saying again and again and again. So you want to break this up using a perfect square if possible. So in this case, we can break it down as the square root of 4 times 6. And we're doing that because we want to use 4, right? Since 4 is a perfect square. So then here we get that x is equal to, and then we could just break those up into their own radicals. So the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. So here we get that x is equal to 2 times the square root of six. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.